Um, hello, and today's vlog is just a screen recorder vlog, and now I've come back to my old screen recorder, because my other screen recorders have given up on me. Um, but because my other screen recorders have given up on me, I thought I'd do a tutorial bit on this one. And this is how to import a CD into iTunes. First you open up iTunes. So first you open up iTunes. I've got iTunes 11 here. Now I've got telemetry into the mirror. This too to import. So let's import it. I've got a telemetry album. Yeah. Yeah, and now, now just insert that into your computer, and wait a few seconds, and into the mirror. Yeah, and then. And then click on the right one and if it doesn't come up with that CD lookup result, it'll usually got I've usually got the right one anyway. I've usually got basically it's asking me which one it is, so I've clicked into the mirror. So if it doesn't come up with that uh, C D lookup result. It's usually got the right one. Uh, and then press OK. And for the, mo for the moment, I'm going to press no because I'm going to press no basically because I want to go through all the import settings as well. Yeah. Import using Apple Lossless encoder. Now I recommend I recommend uh, AFF encoder or Apple Lossless encoder for the best quality. Where are you? And if you and if you're not someone. Who cares about quality? Just pick a random one. But eh. Uh, and you should go to. I'll just cancel that and options. Now, if you press import CD now, Apple lossless. Um uh I'll just I'll just <coughs> stop that, stop that, stop that. I've got one more thing I need to go through. Uh there's a few different settings right up here, I think it's under edit. Edit. Preferences. Preferences. And if you go to basically, there's going to be a few different settings down here that say ask to import CD, which is going to give you a pop-up saying would you like to import this CD blah 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 and oh basically if you've just got a ton of CDs which you want to import you can just press import CD and eject so that way I'll just import the CD and eject it when it's done but I am not 
going to do that, I'll set it back to the normal one. Yeah, which was ass to import CD. And then all the quality stuff we went through before, which you don't need to know. Yeah, import using Apple Lossless setting automatic. And okay. And okay. And import CD. Ah! Okay. And it'll tell you which one it's importing at the top of your. Where it usually has me music playing it'll have the track that it's bringing into iTunes and the time of me meaning for that track to import so in my case the driving with the brakes on live track is going to take 13 seconds okay and once the once the um, tracks have all the check marks on I'll just show you that. Just another quick. Um, I need to go back on one of the uh, subjects I was talking about. You know, before when it came up with CD lookup results, it, it's asking you to choose the right one from the list. So, into the mirrors with, with the right one. In my case, and it's nearly done. And. How do I know that? It's nearly got check marks to every. It's nearly got check marks next to every song on the album. So, uh, if you if you want to um, find you uh, find you um. songs if you want to find your album sorry you just go it'll be in recently I added and it added at the top and if it's and if it's not it'll just you'll just have to refresh it but when it goes out of read recently out recently added you just you just you just go and onto all albums uh, it could take me a while uh, sorry yeah so basically you just have to find your album when it disappears off there. And you just have to find it. Uh but anyway, hope hopefully this tutorial has been useful. Uh to you. Okay, bye. I'm about to have my breakfast and do my homework. Bye. Bye. Oh, rate, rate, subscribe, comment. That's all I've got to say. Um, bye. <laughs>